In their pioneering studies of grammatical development, Roger Brown and his colleagues gathered periodic language samples of toddlers learning to talk. They focused on the acquisition of closed-class words and morphemes that were intrinsic to English grammar. Naturally, as toddlers learn these items, their utterances become longer. Brown and his colleagues thought an efficient way to measure grammatical growth would be to compute the average length of toddler utterances in their language samples. They called this average mean length of utterance, abbreviated MLU. Since that time, the use of MLU has become widespread in both research and clinical practice. And yet, many have questioned the use of MLU alone as a measure of grammatical development, especially for young toddlers. Let's consider four toddler utterances. Each is three morphemes long, which means that MLU will treat them as equivalent. Nevertheless, these utterances differ dramatically in grammatical complexity. Let's pick up some of these toys over here. Oh, bye, baby. Oh, bye, baby is a combination of three words, but they do not form a phrase, each word separate from the next, like word islands. All right, what do you want to do? Take out the eyes and put new eyes? Two eyes. Two eyes is a noun phrase, the number preceding a noun according to the rules of English grammar. The plural suffix adds one morpheme, but does not add syntactic complexity. And he can do a flip. On his head. He stands on his head. On his head is a prepositional phrase, headed by the preposition on. Within this phrase is a noun phrase, his head, the object of the preposition, making this phrase more complex than a single noun phrase alone. Don't forget to clean your brush. You dry it. Give it a fresh dip. Lastly, you dry it is a sentence. It divides into a subject noun phrase, you, and a verb phrase, built around the transitive verb, dry. Within the verb phrase is the direct object noun phrase, represented by the pronoun it. As an SVO sentence, you dry it is the most complex structure of these four utterances. MLU cannot capture these differences because language is not organized linearly, like beads on a string, but hierarchically, words building phrases, phrases building sentences. Clearly, grammatical development is more complicated than a mere increase in MLU. Research is creating alternative means of measuring grammatical development. Join us in future videos as we explore other tools for assessing grammatical development in toddlers.